What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So today talking about my Red Cat Shredder. This is a 1.6 scale 4S capable monster truck. Anyway, it's gonna give you my personal experience on this one. Maybe I can relay some information to you guys if you're looking for one or interested in one. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys wanna get one from the omgrc.com website that we run. So anyway, um, sign up for our newsletter anyhow. So if you're looking around and you're looking for some deals, Sign up for our newsletter. We give out deals every so often. So uh, yeah, you can find that at the bottom of our website. Anyway, getting onto this truck. This thing, let me give you a little background. Real quick on this thing is that I've put a 6S system in here. First of all, when I first ran the truck, I ran it on 4S as it was bone stock. And I loved this thing. It, it was like, man, this thing is great. It's, it takes all the bumps. It's, and I was cool with it. But then I got that little hair and was like, I want to put a 6S system in here. And that was really what I wanted from the very beginning. But I was like, all right, let me let me think about this one. Okay, I'm gonna get a 6S system in here. I saw someone else do it, and they had they didn't really say anything about their experience. So I'm getting here to give you mine. I put a 6S system in here, I put a leopard motor in here. It was like a 2000 kV motor that was in it. And then I put a like a Mamba Monster 2 in here. And the first thing that happened was it chewed up the spur gear. So it was a plastic one that comes in here. Let's show you that anyhow. So the one that's in here now is a metal spur gear. So that was like basically my first upgrade other than the uh, motor and the electronic speed control. So I went ahead, I did that. And from there, because this fact that this motor mount here, let's go ahead and turn this for you. This motor mount is not really great for expansion, right? So. I went ahead, I found some other people, some people left some comments, it was like, hey, you can get a different motor mount, you can use the one out of, I think it was out of the landslide or something like that, from a Red Cat. And I was like, oh, okay, let me go ahead, and I'll try that, I'll order one up. And uh, Red Cat was like, okay, well, let's, you know, we'll let you in here, see if uh, this works. So I put it in there, it wasn't really level, and that's when things kind of went downhill. I didn't really do enough investigation, enough research on it. I stuck it in there and I didn't really, there's some people that said, oh, you need to not do this or whatever. So anyway, things weren't level. Let me just get to that. Things weren't level. So this uh, center differential, it jammed up and uh, it messed up the gears in there. Also, it messed up the, the gears in the front. So what I ended up doing was I said, okay, uh, I called my buddies at Red Cat and was like, hey, can you, I need to, you know, I'm gonna buy, you know, obviously I bought them. Um, they sent me the differentials, the center differential and the front differential. And I was like, all right, I think I'm gonna fix this thing up, I'm gonna sell it. So I ended up thinking about it. I left the stuff there and I was like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, let me, like a month went by. All right, let me go ahead and fix this thing. So I went ahead, I fixed it. And I was like, should I put that 6S system back in there? I was like, you know what, no. I'm gonna put the 4S system back in here and still thinking about selling it. And I was like, I'm gonna run it. I'm just gonna run this thing and kind of fell back in love with it, right? I just like, I like it, here's the deal. People can throw off what you, what you want, what you need and what you, and what you want. I don't know how to explain it exactly. But you know, a lot of people will give you different comments. You're like, oh, well you can run it on this or you can run it on this. And uh, their experience might be good, but you, my experience wasn't as good. And so that went, that's why I went back to stock. Uh, I've had other people chime in when I made some other videos on this truck and they were like, hey, I run this thing on 8S. I've done this, this, this. And I'm like, okay. You know what? Any of those people that have done that, leave a description. Let us know exactly what you did or make a good video letting us know what you did and show us a running video of that system, jumping it and everything else like that. I get a lot of people that will say, oh, well, it was a great vehicle, but the fact that is... Uh, you know things started breaking on it or whatever and I don't I haven't had those breakages The only thing I've had issues with was just a little pin that's in here. This little pin here Went forward and the reason why I went forward is because I hit the ramp on an angle and it clipped this arm And it just kind of it just pulled it out and the pin came out Well, it just pushed forward, but it came out of this little notch It's this little spot or this little plastic piece that's there. There's a pin that goes kind of goes sinks in there well, anyway, it just moved forward. Therefore, this arm went forward. So anyway, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Anyway, so I just, the pen was bent too. So I pulled the pen out, uh, got it straightened back out, 
slid the pin in there and then that's why I put a little bit of super glue on the end there so because the pin had pushed forward so hopefully with that bit of uh, Gorilla Glue that's in there now it'll kind of hopefully stop that pin from moving forward and then of course the arm looking like it broke that's it that's the only thing that broke if you were to say oh what broke on it nothing has broke on this vehicle do I bash do I bash it hard I've taken it to a skate park it's landed a little bit rough here and there, but for the most part, I haven't pushed this vehicle a lot to say like, oh, this is a, this is a, you know, this is basher worthy. I don't know if there's actually a term for that. That's something, but uh, I would say this one, I don't know, it, when you jump it, oh man, it jumps really good. Uh, there's times where I'm just like, I hit the brake or whatever, and uh, you know, things don't go as it should because I touch something. And it, you know, either it goes forward, or it flips, and it smashes on its on its roof or whatever. But you know what? It's done all that, and it's still holding up. So at the end of the day, I give it two thumbs up. I think it's well worth 360 bucks, man. I say you got to get your 2S lipos. If you don't have a charger, you're gonna need a charger. But yeah, get two 5,000 milliamp batteries, Dean style connections, and you're good to go. You can get whatever connections you want. But it being with this truck, it comes with this. Uh, comes with this as far as this is a t-style dean and it would have two that were on here i just but it did it to one at the, at one point in time for what, i have a 4s pack that's in here so i don't have two 2s lipos i just had one single four 4s lipo so that's why you see it as it is other than that man this thing's been great so and i guess some people have had some issues and i've had the issue too where if you roll it it starts to kind of, it'll bind up and then it's smooth again and then it binds up and smooth again, but it makes it really like, like something's really wrong with this thing. And all as it was, and I think I did a video on it, and I did a video on my blackout here as well, is that uh, it's just some shims that are in the differentials and they get, they're either, I don't know why, all of a sudden they're too close to the actual, uh, the two gears are too close together. And uh, that's why it kind of does that and binding up. And once I removed all those little shims out there, this thing's been smooth. The gears are good on it, so it's been a good running uh, RC vehicle. So that's what I—that's my two cents, man. You guys, like I said, leave your own experiences. Everybody has different experiences with it, but mine have been really good uh, on the 4S system. Again, like once I jumped to a 6S system, you know, that's when things went downhill. But once I went back to the 4S, it's been nothing but smiles, man. I love this vehicle, and I'm gonna get more use out of it for sure. Um, Appreciate you guys watching as always. Hopefully this was informative enough for you to maybe make a decision on it, but it's just my experience and hopefully I'm just passing that on to you guys so you guys can maybe make a better decision on it. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also check out our website, omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. Sign up for our newsletter too. We do newsletters, newsletters every so often and uh, you know try to do some little promos here and there. Anyway, Catch you on the next video. Till next time, thank you for watching.